Gumson Management Tools, or CMT, is a software application for knowledge capture, scenario planning, and decision making. The focus of this short video is on decision making. CMT supports two types of decision making, option driven and criteria driven. This video demonstrates criteria driven decision making. To demonstrate this capability, I will be using a simple project that focuses on buying a car. Before we start our demonstration of criteria driven decision making, I would suggest that humans use option driven decision making when they make decisions during their normal life. Humans constantly apply judgment as they move through their day. They are constantly deciding how to spend their money and time. They are considering short and long term impacts the need to accomplish tasks while at the same time considering safety, effort, desire, and so forth. They weigh different options and consider the pros and cons in order to make decisions. This is different than criteria-driven decisions. With criteria-driven decision-making, you start off with a list of criteria that you want to use to make your decision. You weight each of the criterium as to the weight you want that criterium to carry when making the decision. Then you rate each of the options against that criteria. Selecting a family car using criteria driven decision making makes sense because it allows you, the customer, to identify the criteria most important to you. Option driven decision making may be selected by the automobile salesperson as they are trying to highlight a specific feature of one car that may not be available in another. In this case, we will be using criteria driven decision making to select from between a small selection of cars. Option driven decision making may be more appropriate for selecting between buying a car, taking a long vacation, investing in the stock market, or replacing the roof in your house. In these choices, the reasons behind each of the options would be different. We will start in the CMT drawing mode with the data already loaded into the computer. In this case, we have the top level issue defined as what should be considered when buying a new car. The objective in this brief demo is to select between a Ford, Hyundai, Jeep, and Porsche. There are five criteria that I will use to make my decision. Navigating around the screen, we can see the criteria that we will use to make the decision and the names of the cars that we are comparing. I will use the ranking and weighting tool built into CMT to rank and weight the criteria. In this case, I will just show the ranked and weighted information. Next I will rate each of the automobile models against each of the criteria. Using this patented visual technique within CMT makes it easy to see the relative comparisons of each vehicle for each criteria. In this first case I want to show that both Ford and Hyundai have four doors and that Jeep and Porsche do not.
For cost, Hyundai is the cheapest, followed by Ford, then Jeep, and Porsche is the highest, therefore lowest rated for this criteria. For gas mileage, I show Hyundai is the best, followed closely by Ford. Jeep lags behind, and Porsche has the lowest mileage rating. In desire for car, I know I want a Porsche, so that is rated the highest. A Jeep might be fun, and that rates second, followed by Ford and Hyundai. Finally, availability. Both Ford and Hyundai are available off the lot, while well, I would have to wait a couple of weeks for a Jeep or a Porsche. Once all of the cars have been rated against each of the criteria, I can click on the decision-making icon and see the answer. In this case, the Ford was identified as the preferred choice, followed by Hyundai, Jeep, and Porsche. You might note that Porsche and Jeep were not rejected, even though they don't have four doors. With criteria-driven decision-making, one is just accumulating support. Any absolute reject information must be interpreted manually. This is one area where option-driven decision-making may be superior, as any feature that totally rejects an option will immediately remove that option from the running. While CMT provides a documented decision, the user is still responsible for that decision. It is based on the weighted information provided by the user and if the decision is not what was expected, then more criteria or reweighted options must be provided. The intent of CMT is to provide background material that explains why a decision was made. If you don't like the decision, change the data, but just remember the reasoning will be visible. So if you weight the information in order to get CMT to choose a Porsche, then that reasoning will be visible to others.